I spent over $200 on Amazon FBA online courses. So if you're interested in Amazon FBA, why not watch this video and save $200? Hey guys, I'm Jade. If you're interested in making money online, my free ebook, 7 Best Ways to Make Money Online, is available. Link is in the description. And your time is important, so watch this video faster. So let's talk about how to start Amazon FBA in 5 simple steps. 1. Find a profitable product. So here are some Amazon FBA products that I have in mind. So here's the wine bottle stopper, a lot of different kinds. And here's the wine cork holder. And here are some screen magnifier for smartphones. This is how it works. So, how did I find these products? I used Helium 10. The link is in the description. I used like 7 different Amazon FBA tools for free. And Helium 10 was the best one for the beginners to use it as a free tool. So click the link in the description and just try it out. You can sign up for free right here. So just create your free account and what you want to do is you want to go to this product research and go to this black box. So right here you want to choose the category. Usually home and kitchen is really good as well as kitchen and dining. And you want to sell the product that is something over $15. And then you want to avoid the really competitive market. So maximum review count, I would probably say the 500. And then you can also choose the shipping size tier, but they will limit our products too much. You can also do this advanced filter as well, but this is too much for the beginner. So we're just gonna search here. Then you'll get this result right Right here so we can see some good products here so you can click on it so this is the product with over $15 and have less than 500 ratings so slanket the blanket with sleeves so let's check out slanket so slanket looks like a great product to sell but it can be kind of competitive but definitely see some potential here so what you want to do here is you want to run the helium x-ray right here after you add the helium 10 to chrome extension you can use this then you have the search volume for this blanket and total revenue average revenue average price and average reviews as well as the success score right here so two is not that great i guess you can kind of go through this you can see if they are fba or not they, you can see the price fba fees and also sales, so you want to check this one. This is the estimated number of sales over the last 30 days. So the number one product, they sold more than 36,000 slankets in one month. And if you go down further, there are some sellers that are not selling at all. So you can kind of check all this information at once for free using Helium 10. So you want to use the Helium 10 to find a good product to sell on Amazon. And then when you find one, you want to click on the product and see this Helium 10 graph under the product. So right here, this is the graph. Usually when we see the charts, going up is better. But in Helium 10 graph, going down is better because the lower the BSR bestseller ranking means, the more products that you are selling. At the beginning of the August, they didn't sold that much unit. So their BSR ranking is high. But during September, they sold more products, so their ranking is going down, which means they're selling more products during this time. So you want to look for the product with the grab something look like this, steady and going low down to the bottom. And let me show you the bad graph that you want to avoid. Okay, so this is the graph that you want to avoid. It goes up and down, up, down, up down up down it means it's not selling at all outsold one product not selling at all also some product not selling at all and sold some product that's what it means so you want to avoid this type of graph this means the product is not selling that well 
So just like that, looking for the good graph and avoiding the bad graph can kind of help you finding the good products on Amazon. And also, I can do the revenue calculation right here. So as an FBA, if I sell these products at $22 and it costs me like $5 to produce this product, then the Amazon FBA fee will be around $9 and $12 will be my profit by selling the one product on Amazon. So this comes really handy. You can use this as well for free. So you can use the Hellion 10 for free, but if you want to purchase in the future, you can use the code JCHOY10 to get the 10% off for your monthly payment. And if you want more tips on choosing your first product, I already did a collaboration with Farah who has over 12 years of experience on selling on Amazon. She shared 15 tips for beginners in this video, so don't forget to check out this video later. 2. Find a reliable manufacturer. Are you still watching? If you're still watching, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And leave a comment below, hashtag Amazon FBA. To find a product, you want to go to Alibaba.com. So let's find wine cork holder. And then right here, what you want to do is you want to check these two boxes, supplier type. You want to make sure they are trade assurance and also verify suppliers. And then you'll see the verify suppliers in with the trade assurance. So these two things means that they are using the trade assurance system. So if they give me the wrong products, I don't have to pay them. They will not get my money. So if they're using the trade assurance system, they will probably not scam you with the wrong products. And the verified supplier means that Alibaba verified this manufacturer. So just by checking these two boxes here, you can remove a lot of risk choosing the wrong supplier and prevent you to getting scammed with the wrong products. So now you want to go through the products and find the one that you want to make and sell. So let's say we like this one. So we can see that they have a lot of different wine holder products right here. You can check the review, you can check the price. And if you scroll down, you see more products right here from this same company supplier. So you want to find at least like three to four suppliers that you like and you want to contact supplier right here. So when you click contact supplier, you can email them just like this. You can type here. So in your email, you want to add your contact information as well as product requirements such as product's name, dimensions, and material. Then you also want to ask them a lot of questions about the price and also if they do the Amazon prep service. So Amazon prep service kind of means that they can package the product with the Amazon barcode on it and also they can deliver the products from their factory to the Amazon warehouse. So this can be the example of the email. You want to add a lot of product requirements such as their name, dimension, weight, color, and material, and improvement points. Also, you want to ask a lot of questions, ask their contact information, photos of the product and the packaging and the lead time to manufacture and packaging, sample cost with the shipping cost. Three, get a sample. So pick the one or two suppliers that you can trust and you want to get the sample from those manufacturers because sample products can be kind of costly, possibly a few hundred dollars including the international shipping. Getting sample costs money and time, but if you skip this process, you might end up losing more than that, like thousands of dollars or something. So definitely check your sample before you produce the massive amount. And one tip for getting the sample is that you can ask them if they can discount the sample money when you decide to produce the product. So for example, I bought the sample at $100. Then I like this product so I want to produce my product with this supplier. So when we produce like thousands of units, let's say it cost me $1,000. Then I can ask them, can you give me the discount for the sample cost? So they can give me at least like 50 or $100 discount for my sample cost. So you can get the sample discount. 
Four, send your products to Amazon warehouse. So you check your sample and your product is now ready to go. And you need to ship this to Amazon warehouse from the supplier. And when we contact them in the beginning, we already asked them if they do the Amazon prep service, which means they will deliver the product from their warehouse to Amazon warehouse. But you want to make sure that you are giving the right warehouse address. 5. Promote your product When you first launch your product, you don't have any reputation whatsoever. So you need to run PPC ad. It means you're running the ads on Amazon. So on Amazon, when you search for the product, you see lots of sponsored products right here on the top row. So these are the products that are running the PPC ads on Amazon to sell their products more. So you want to do the same thing. You want to run ads on Amazon to place your product on the first page on Amazon. In this video, Farah said on Amazon it's hard to get the organic sales. So we have to expect to spend some money on this advertising before we launch the product. For example, we already checked this price, but let's say so this one is selling at 19 and the product price is $5. Then the fee is $8. This is the Amazon fee. So we have $10 revenue, but from here, we have to expect to spend at least like $5 on PPC advertising on Amazon to sell this product in the beginning when you don't have any reviews for your products. So this is the five simple steps that you can start Amazon FBA. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and I'm looking forward to see you guys again soon. Bye!